So probably the most common um, way that anyone's gonna introduce self-defense is like this. They're gonna do a two-hand choke on you and they're gonna teach you how to get out of this. And the way most people teach you how to get out is again, you can do the crossover slice. Uh, you can do the Gracie method, which is forward and down, or you can do like a arm lock kind of thing. But you notice with all those, I'm having difficulty, right? Like, so if he stiffens up his arm, I can't even get this arm across. If I do the Gracie method, well, this is pushing into my throat. And if I do the uh, wrist lock, well, he's already stiffened it, so I can't actually get out. So how do you escape this in the most efficient way? Um, simple. You use the stiff arm. So what you do is you put out your arm and you rotate simultaneously while pushing your pushing your shoulders in the opposite direction, like that. Boom. Boom. Every time. So even if you squeeze really tight, oh, it's pretty tight, I can get out. Uh, why does this work? If you place your hands together like this, uh, in order for him to hold you there, you'd have to choke somebody like that, right? But oftentimes the neck, when you're, when you're being squeezed in this way, there's a pathway either here or here. But if they're trying to choke you from the front, squeeze, they're trying to cut off your esophagus. But you know on the back that there's a gap. So you just have to stiff arm and push away.